Mum says it's our turn on the Xbox. Beep, boop, beep. Hello, my name is Kai Bandaz, and this is episode four of Talking Trash Show. That'll make you say, yep, yeah, that explains a lot. Today, I'm with my assuredly straight friend, Aaron Cowell, and I'm with... <laughs> I'm straight, guys. <laughs> I'm with my other friend, uh, Luke Hazel. The I agen- don't know what my sexuality is. The agenda point. of the show is simple. <laughs> Find stuff we love about movies you'll think are trash. This episode, we're talking about The Phantom Menace. Aaron, I think you should start, because you've got the most positive outlook. There are aspects of the film that I really like. I love the lore it builds for Star Wars. You see the Jedi Order for the first ever time. It establishes like what the world was like before the Empire. We get to see that the Jedi aren't just a bunch of hermits living in the desert and swamp. They were actually a fully functioning cult basically yeah. and it's nice going back to Tatooine characters you know they're good enough it's nice that they chuck in Obi-Wan C-3PO R2-D2 we get so we have familiar faces okay now that I think about it they're all, <laughs> all of the unfamiliar faces are just side characters apart from Qui-Gon Jinn and Padme basically what about Watto what about my favorite character right, on, Watto what about Watto then come on I've got a list of what I love and the only thing says is Watto the best character <laughs> <laughs> one bit that confuses me in that film though Watto's like Republic credits won't work here I swear there's only one form of currency in, like, the whole of Star Wars. So what the hell does that even mean? Like, in, like... What do they in, trade in, in you on know, Tatooine? You, you, know in, um, you, know, you, you know in Clone Wars, and, you know in Clone Wars and stuff, yeah, everything is Republic credits. Like, no matter where you go, everyone gets paid. Like, on Tatooine, they use Republic credits. Someone, like, a bounty hunter gets paid. So I'm like, why does Watto not accept? <laughs> does Watto, like, collect little pills or something? What about if, like, Watto's, like, a big game hunter? And he only collects, like, <laughs> mythical beasts. You go down to the basement in his fucking Tatooine base. There's, like, a Womper over there. The fucking Gundams are over there. We need to talk about Jar Jar. George Lucas has actually said he's meant to be the funny part of the film. But he's the least issues, funny. Yeah. The funniest part of the film is that line, You're right about one thing, Master. The negotiations were <laughs> short. And I'm like... I love your impressions. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. Jar Jar also, he Jar. goes up to the scene with Padme when he introduces himself to Padme. Then recounts the events of the day, as in... The it's events like, we've already it's like, seen. It's like, we've so seen what the this, fuck but... is the point? Also, what do we think about R2-D2 starting off as a Naboo service droid? Probably better than R2-D2 just sees them and goes, I'm going to go along with them. R2-D2 goes up, goes up to this droid so and he's like, the droid says, like, what's your people? And he's like, I don't have a people. <laughs> um, D2. <laughs> R2-D2. R- there we go. R2-D2, a solo, a solo story, a Star Wars story, sort of. <laughs> R2-D2 Can you imagine if like Solo that? starts having its own spin-off to like Woody Harrelson a solo story He's had a comic mind so yeah, or Woody Harrelson. Why not at this point What a famous actor Woody Harrelson <laughs> No no When they're trying to break into the like oh, wait, into okay, the main yeah, no. into like like what is it the, the main deck Yeah and like the um, droid kids come up behind them and they go let's get out of here and then they fucking just just what? go what? Yeah, that, that, like, that has confused me since I was let at the end of the day I can understand like doing a Jedi dash like mm. they have in like Battlefield yeah, that yeah. wasn't like, that was like a, like like a like full on fucking <laughs> leap you know that as soon as they get down to Naboo everything in Naboo that isn't a city or the underwater gunship looks like the Windows XP background I That's will not dispute that that is true, true. But you know the fish part. Yeah. There's always a bigger fish. There's always a bigger fish. I don't know. I, I weirdly like that. I'm not a big fan of prequels, but there is one thing that prequels do really well. Can Thanks. you think of, like, a line from, like, the original trilogy that like, really sticks out to you? But as soon as you start thinking of the prequels, yeah. it's like, I am the Senate. A You've got, there's always sure. a bigger fish, a surprise. It's just, God, take... What? Uh, like, you know, it, <laughs> we, you know, I, right. Can I just remember? I spent money on this. I looked downstairs. There was no copies. I had to go into sex. They they only they only sold either the complete package or two and three. There was no episode one in there, so it's not I like I was getting like a mine. cheap thing. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I did say, and I've got it on Blu-ray. I, well. I, I bought, bought you could eight. It. I bought what's eight fucking pounds. Um, you paid eight pounds for the Phantom Menace. No, Phantom Menace, like all three. I, so it's, oh no! Oh no! Okay, it. you. Oh, if you paid eight pounds for all three, that's not. Yeah. No, that's all right. I paid like fifteen for all three. <laughs> I, I've, I've said this before. I think I said it to in computing back in the days. I always thought Phantom Menace would have suited better as a Star Wars story. Apart from introducing Anakin, Phantom Menace is literally a film about. Two Jedi saving one planet that's not even relevant to the rest of the Star Wars yeah. franchise ever again. No. But at least we got, you know, Liam Neeson. Yeah. Liam Neeson, not very good, in my opinion. No, he's no, like. No, he's no, no, I agree. He's a bit disappointing. Oh, thank you. Like, everyone is. <laughs> I mean, after all of his oh, Oscar winning performances. Yeah, it's in- because this isn't a film about a vehicle. So he cut, he's not allowed to give it his all. But he's legally th- not allowed. <laughs> also, the acting in, in Tatooine of. 
No, An- Anakin, Anakin's, mom. Anakin's mom sounds like Mask Man. Sounds like as if we're watching a dub of like oh, no, someone that someone's she's done so over awful. it. She- Oh my god. Pod racing is so boring. Yeah. At least the CGI is good though. The oh, CGI like... in the whole film is better. It's better than Attack of the Clones, but not as good as Revenge of the Sith. Yes. The clones are like PS2 characters. Yeah, in exactly. Of the <laughs> like a really heavy amount of CGI when they could have just used armor. I like, I, like... I, I like Attack of the Clones, by the way. Just, I'll just put that out there. Sorry if anyone knows. <laughs> Your favourite Star Wars film, something they say. The only Star Wars film I have <laughs> like a massive fan of, The Last Jedi. At the end of it, if Finn had like, sacrificed himself, that would have been a redeeming factor for me. Oh no, yeah, wouldn't think it. The, the worst part as well is that he... Li- is this an episode on The Last Jedi? No, no, go <laughs> like, on. No, one on. sentence, one sentence, one no, sentence. No, go on, you go on. And, um, like, when, when, what's her name, Rose nudges him out of the way of the thing, and then she she goes and She has the dare no, to kiss my boy. No, but he doesn't kiss her back. <laughs> Last Jedi, so, over. Let, let, yeah. let. Okay, I need to show you something. He's going to show us something, guys. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. So, oh. so this is from uh, Andrew Tate's Twitter. Oh, no. Never seen Star Wars. None of them. Never will. OMG, you're missing out? Maybe. You're missing out on being a multi-millionaire. Keep your movie. That's him next to his car. This keeps on going. I am so confused. This man hates Star Wars, and that's what apparently made him a multi-billionaire. Oh, sound. So if we didn't watch Star Wars, guys, I think we'd be... Oh, so okay, okay. So the, the message Kai is trying to get across <laughs> here is that if, if you don't watch Star Wars, guys, you're going to be a multi-millionaire. And oh. Cal, my dearest boy, the best boy, some may say. Yeah. How would you fix Phantom Menace? Oh, Chris, they're back. Guys, Fallout just arrived today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how would I fix? How would I, how fix, I fix Phantom Menace? Menace? I, I would wouldn't. um, I would travel back in time and I would assassinate George Lucas to make oh. sure that no more Star Wars films ever get made after Return of the Jedi. Let me set out some rules for you. Uh-huh. You have to keep Phantom Menace. Uh, you, you can alter the story. So how are you going to fix? Give Darth Maul a brother, maybe make him yellow. Okay. Give him some robot legs. Hmm. I don't know where you it got sounds that pretty from. fucking metal. Luke, how do you fix? I feel That's like it's unfixable. You make Jar Jar like really minor of a character. He dies at the scene. But like, there's some there's scenes. Track. <laughs> there, there were some scenes where you just like... Stoke. Was it needed? <laughs> Maybe make Anakin like just a bit older, yeah. and so it looks less like Padme is a creep, calling it beautiful and all that. Yeah. Are you so an I angel? Think, I think it literally would work like a lot better if they just made Anakin just that bit older. Do you know how to fix the prequels? Written by George Lucas, characters by George Lucas, directed, pick, directed yeah. by fucking anyone but George Lucas. <laughs> Get fucking M. Not Shyamalan in there. Get literally, get Peter, get anyone. Get Brian Singer in there. Get Brian Singer. <laughs> get him whoever directed X-Men Origins Wolverine. I'm sure he knows. <laughs> no, I'm sure he knows. That's good. <laughs> so, new Star Wars show that's coming out, the uh, HBO one. Isn't it? Oh, with, oh, is it? Oh, yeah. With, with the, the Game the of Star Thrones show. Will that be a prequel, D&D. though? Apparently it's Old, Old Republic. But... Oh, it's Old Republic. It's called, um, Game of... Game of Swords. <laughs> <laughs> Game of bigger fish. I didn't have an Obi Wan line already there. So. Oh, yeah. Game of high grounds. Game of high grounds. That would be a lot better. Did anyone watch the um the? Uh... <laughs> you watched the game last the, night. The, 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 the Fall Order. No, it's, it's like in the Fall Order gameplay trailer. Like he's got a. <laughs> That's the best joke we've had all God damn! <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, and then, yeah, and then. The, why is it that whenever Palpatine puts a hog on, no one on the universe knows who he is? Uh, is maybe he, that's the plan. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, is he using the force or something? So what they did in the Cold War is that they just put hoods over. <laughs> we have diverged so much from the topic. Yeah, fuck, sorry. Phantom <laughs> Man is a film that we've seen today. It was all right. No, seriously. At the time, if you've seen all those like references to stuff, so when you get in and and like Qui Gon first calls him Obi Wan, then in your head you're like, I know a character called Obi Wan. You're like, <gasps> like this little, this little thing goes on here. And you're like, woo woo. No, but that's, what, that's what that's what I tried to simulate in my head. I tried to imagine it from the perspective of you know appreciating the fan service, even though I already know the fan service off by heart because I know all of the Star Wars films off by heart. How do you feel about Palpatine being in? Every like in every Star Wars trilogy, you know? I'm a fan of the meme. I mean, he's good in Return of the Jedi, and even though everyone hypes him up a lot in Revenge of the Sith, Revenge of the Sith, he actually gives his worst performance. No, he's really. I think he's, he's really good in uh, Phantom Menace. You're, right. you're like, I understand how this guy took down yeah. the entire Republic. Next to in line for like Chancellor, he's like, oh, 
surprised to be short but a welcome. He's like, no, you knew it was going to happen. I'm surprised to be short fuck. but a welcome. welcome. And I'm like, yes. You, t- you tell him. Finishing off Clone Wars the other day, Yoda has a vision. Everything that Palpatine's going to do in Revenge of the mm-hmm. Sith, and he just sees a Sith Lord. It shows the shot of Palpatine going, and doing a spin and killing them all. And I was just like... They know. <laughs> they know. <laughs> they <laughs> and then did he use the same sound effect of him screeching? <laughs> How did he make that noise? George Lucas brings him in and he's like, I want you to pretend that you're a duck that's being stomped on. And Palpatine's like, oh, yeah, sure, I can do that. Ow. Anything uh, you'd like to add to this, Kai? Anything you'd like to further discuss on Phantom Menace? I'm fucking done with this film. <laughs> it's only two hours as well. It felt so much longer it's than two hours. It felt a lot longer. Like, what? I keep talking about Revenge of the Sith, but Revenge of the Sith... <laughs> as you know, the perfect Star Wars film, Revenge of the Sith. It is the perfect Star Wars film! No, it is conceptually the perfect Star Wars film. In execution... It's not. Thank you for coming on the show, Aaron Cowell. Oh, it's, uh, it's no problem, everybody. It's always a pleasure to sp- and, uh, spend time with you. Lucas Hazel. Be sure to leave us a review on iTunes, Spreaker, SoundCloud, or YouTube. Tear us apart, or yeah. give us unconditional love. We don't care. We don't care. Well, to I, an I extent, mean, we IGN gave us a 9.87 <laughs> out of 10. Do you think so. we care about IGN? Yeah, Fuck no. All right. if, you, if you find if you want to find me, I'll just be in any old ditch. An itch? Yeah, <laughs> go to your nearest <laughs> bridge your and your look nearest underneath it and you'll find Luke you'll there. You'll find Luke here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, goodbye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Ah. Back to the chamber you go. <laughs>